Hi there, Cecil Robles here, and welcome to another week of uh, Forex Mastery Weekly. And we are going to be looking at the Euro dollar pair today. Uh, and going forward, I'm going to be giving you some signals and some actionable trade uh, advice that you can actually take on the Euro US dollar uh, pair. And uh, I think that's going to help you, uh, number one, become a better trader, and number two, actually make some successful trades. So why don't we go ahead and dive right into the charts and look at the Euro dollar daily chart. We're going to be talking about the Euro dollar daily as well as the Euro dollar four hour chart. If you're familiar with currency trading, then you know that you can trade multiple time frames trading currencies. You can trade uh, the tick chart all the way up to the monthly chart if you want to. Uh, we primarily are going to be sticking to the daily chart and then as well as timing some of our entries and exits based on the four hour chart. So let's go ahead and look right now at the Euro dollar daily chart and see exactly where it is. The first thing that we want to do is we want to get a big picture view of the market. Uh, I believe it was Ed Sakota that said that the further you step back from a chart, the clearer that it becomes. And what that means is that when you are looking at a chart, the bigger picture, the bigger time frame that you can get based on that chart. Now, you can do this with a daily chart. That's going to give you several months of data to look at. Uh, or even longer, you can do it with the five minute chart. And within your time frame, you can actually step back from that chart and see all the support, the resistance, the natural points within the market, uh, the trends, so on and so forth. And it helps you to identify uh, certain patterns as well as it helps you to identify where the market potentially may be heading. So what we like to do first is pull back this chart and kind of get a big picture view. And just based on that big picture view, what can you see here? Well, we can see a few things. First, we can see that right down here, uh, we reached a what we call a double bottom, almost a triple bottom, really. We had a bottom here, a bottom here, and a bottom here. This is a strong support level, right? Because we've reached down there three times and we bounced off all three times. We bounced here, we bounced here, and we bounced here, right? If we want to pull this chart back further, we may find that there's actually uh, even some some stronger support there at that level. So you can see here at that level, if we were to draw a line, a horizontal line across, you can see that there's support down here as well. And there's resistance right here, right? So this is a resistance area. There's support back here as well. So this is a pretty strong support level. So that's the first thing that we really notice there. And once we had that happen, if we uh, blow the chart up again, once we had that happen, we can see that, uh, that we started an uptrend right here. That started an uptrend. We came up to this resistance level, bounced off of that. Uh, and then we had what we call a trend continuation right here. So once price reached this area right here, couldn't go any lower, the buyers took it back up and we had a trend continuation. And then that trend continuation had a stall out right here at about the 138 uh, 30 or 138.40 area. We have a high here of 138.31. So that's a stall out right there. And you can see that prices drop pretty significantly. If we were to pull a FIB level from here to here, we'd see that we were probably around the 786 FIB level or so whenever that particular market turned back around. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And you can see that as we bounced off of that, now we're trying to make a run back up. So this is what we call another trend continuation, right? It didn't break this, this low down here. It continued to go higher. Now we see something here that uh, intrigues us, and that is that we have what we call a market structure low right here. We also have an intermediate term structure low right here. So that is giving us an indication that this market potentially wants to head higher. So right now we have a long bias on the Euro US dollar daily chart. And we are basically long in three positions. Now on the daily chart, what I like to do is take a max of three positions. I don't like to take any more than that because from my experience, once you get into those three positions, if you try to put a fourth one on, very rarely is the market gonna move far enough by the time you're able to put that fourth position on in order for you to make a whole lot of profit from it. And sometimes it actually becomes a losing trade, which takes away from your other losing trades. Now what I like to do is my first position, I like to go in with what I call getting my feet wet or basically taking a smaller risk. 
My second position is where I like to increase the risk because generally by the time I get to my second position, what's happened is, is I'm in profit already. So I've, I've already made some money in that first position to cover uh, any loss that I might have in the second position. So what we do basically here is we look for a buy signal once we see this market structure low right here. Uh, and we see this intermediate term structure low form. And that buy signal came in right here on this particular candle. And let me just make the chart a little bit bigger now that we've kind of stepped back from the chart and we see exactly where we're at. So this buy signal came in right here at the 134.853 level. Uh, and that gave us one position right there, okay? One position. Uh, based on a, uh, a, a small risk. Basically, this is, this is what you consider your gamble trade, right? Because every trade that you take uh, at, at first is a gamble, all right? You don't know if it's going to win or a lose. You know, you're basically rolling the dice. You, you, let's say you have a 70% probability to win or a 65% probability to win. You know the odds are in your favor. However, you still are taking a risk, you're taking a gamble. So I call this the gamble trade. The second trade, however, gives us a confirmation and basically that's based on a breakout. And the breakout occurs right here. Uh, and this breakout is a natural resistance point in the market, we call these fractals, right? So when that fractal gets broken and some other criteria are met, of course, we have to have some other criteria met for that to happen, but when that gets pierced right there, that gives us an indication that prices may go higher. Now what happened uh, is price pushed up, then as you notice, it pulled back, right? That's how it happens. The market ebbs and flows. It doesn't always go in one straight line upwards, right? It ebbs and it flows. It comes, it goes up and it comes down. That's how you create support and resistance points in the market for taking breakout trades, right? So as it ebbs and flows, we get, uh, we get structure, and support, structure resistance, structure support. And as that support, that structure support, structure resistance gets broken, that gives us an opportunity to take trades. So buy signal right here. Then we had another buy signal. Why? Because we had another structure uh, resistance form at this particular level, right around the 136. Uh, 20 level is where that structure resistance was. That got broken last week. And now you can see we've got three aggressive positions here to the buy side in this Euro dollar. Now, if you haven't bought the Euro dollar, you can still buy the Euro dollar. You can buy the Euro dollar right now, of course, until we uh, get a signal to reverse that. Now, since we've already taken positions in these, what I do is I recommend you to actually place a smaller risk trade, maybe 1% or 2% of your account equity. Uh, that's very conservative. As we're trading the daily chart here, you can actually do that. I would never recommend going above 3% in one particular trade. Uh, now, you can do that, but you just have to understand what your risk tolerances are. Some people can handle 5% or 10% on a trade. Personally, I wouldn't do that because I know my risk tolerance. So I never go above 3% risk per trade. I'm trading more for the long term and I'm trying to compound my money, compound my investments. And I know that over 10 years, 15 years, my strategy is sound and it works and it's profitable. And I know that my compound interest and the kind of money that I can make just on trading conservatively, I know that I can knock away a very nice nest egg uh, and a very nice retirement a very nice income to live off of for the rest of my life. So with that being said, uh, I try to keep it more moderate, not so aggressive. Uh, you can do whatever you want, but I recommend you trade one to 2% risk on this particular trade. And uh, you can take it right now. 137.042 is the current price. You can take that trade right now. Your stop loss would actually go uh, at about 135.036, 135. Uh, 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 036, and uh, that should give you uh, a pretty good, uh, pretty good stop loss level there. Uh, now I'll keep you up to date uh, via email with how this trade does, um, but uh, that's pretty much it for now. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, Forex Mastery Weekly tutorial. God bless, and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.